Coming up on McNeil Today, we'll tell you about yesterday's volleyball games. Plus, we've got your lunch and weather. McNeil Today begins right now. From the McNeil Broadcasting Company, this is McNeil Today. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Emily. And I'm Ashton. If you have not paid your five dollars for your locker, locker rental fee, please get this turned into Office C as soon as possible. Students that do not pay will be placed on a fine list and your extracurricular activities could be restricted. For example, you wouldn't be able to attend the first dance on September 23rd. Turn in your five dollars to Office C as soon as possible. A couple of t-shirt orders are due soon. Gaming Club t-shirts orders are due today. NJHS or NJHS t-shirt orders are also due today. If you like the new straight out of McNeil shirts, you can pick up an order form in one of the offices or go online and print one out. A youth large size is also available. Get yours quick before supplies run out. The deadline has been extended to get a t-shirt with your registration for the McNeil Disney Dash to today. The Dash will be September 19th and will be a 5k run or a one mile walk. Registration for the 5K is $30 and $20 for the walk and includes a t-shirt if you register today. This is open to anyone and everyone, so pass it along to your friends and family. There will be prizes for the best costumes as well as some giveaways after the run. You don't want to miss it. For more information, stop by the library desk. Live Touch Pictures will be Thursday, September 17th during your science class. All students and staff will be photographed. Students are required to still be in dress code. Other forms were placed in your fourth period teacher's boxes. But if you did not get one, extra forms are in the office D. Please keep all payments and hand your money directly to the photographer. A great way to help make our school and our community a better place is to be a part of our McNeil Student Council. If you would like an application, please go by F100 to see Ms. Nix and get one. All applications must be filled out completely and return no later than September 18th. The TAME organization, organization, which stands for Texas Association for Minorities and Engineers, will be having the first meeting on Tuesday, September 22nd at 3.15 p.m. in the Student Center. Students who have an interest in engineering or STEM-related careers will want to be there. For more information, see Ms. Mitchell or Ms. Houck. The Back to School Dance is coming. The date is September 25th from 7 to 9. You must have all your fines paid to attend. This includes the $5 locker rental fee. Remember that dance attire must be dress code appropriate and students must be picked up immediately after the dance. More information will be coming soon. Natural Junior Honor Society members have some dates they need to know. The next meeting is September 22nd before school in the library. If you want to run for officer, your officer packets will be due September 25th. On September 29th, candidates for officers will give speeches and NGHS will host their election. Attention cheer and pep squad, you have practiced Monday after school from 3.05 to 4.15 in the library. Please remember all practices are mandatory. The 7th grade Lady Mustangs took on Iowa Park Thursday night. C Team 1 offensive player of the game was Emma Brandt. Defensive player of the game was Paige Norman. B Team 1 offensive player of the game was Madison Gilmore and defensive player of the game was Riley Hansen. A Team 1 in 3 games or A team won in three games, 23 to 25, 25 to 12, 15 to 13. Offensive players of the game were Amaya Contreras and Morgan Pontius. The defensive players of the game were Caden Amador and Haley Gardner. Eighth grade girls also took on Iowa Park Thursday. The C team won 25 to 16 and 25 to 20. Offensive player of the game was Alicia Trevino. Defensive player of the game was Cameron Hardigree. B team lost 12 to 25 and 25 to 22. Offensive player of the game was Riley Bennett, and the, the defensive player of the game was Carson Crow. A team won 25 to 18, 24 to 16, and 25 to 20. The offensive player of the game was Mindy Shoffit, and the defensive the defensive player of the game was Gabrielle Wilson. It's time for your weather. Here's Hunter with your weather. Thanks, guys. Currently, it's 76 and partly cloudy. Winds are out of the east northeast at 10 miles per hour. It's getting going to be warm later today. Let's take a look at your forecast. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed with a high near 91 later today. Partly cloudy, Thursday, cloudy skies with a high of a low around 62. Saturday, mainly sunny with a high of 85. Saturday night, clear with a low near 62. Sunday, clear skies in the day with a high near 87. That's a look at your weather. Here's what is served in the main line of the cafeteria. Nachos, chicken sandwich, steamed cabbage, baby carrots, and pineapple. 
Looking ahead to Monday will be a fish sandwich or a hot dog. We do need your news and events. If you have any information for NBC Today, here are two easy ways to get it to us. You can email it to us at cmjohnson at wfisd.net or drop it off to us here in room D138. Remember that we do need your information by 5 p.m. the day before to ensure it will make the show. That's what's going on in McNeil today. Go out and make it a great day and we'll see you Monday.